So we normally talk about uh, next generation technologies. Exactly. <laughs> But today we are actually meeting somebody who is actually next generation, <laughs> shaping the next generation. When I was five years old uh, in senior kindergarten, T tables, which helps you learn your multiplication tables. First of all, I'd like to get uh, my book signed by him, uh, and of course, it would be great uh, if my uh, application as Tanmay could play uh, KBC with him. That would be great. So, Tanmay, how old are you? I'm 12 years old. <laughs> Not even a teenager. Not yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> When was uh, the first time you started coding? Well, actually, I was five years old, uh, and I remember actually, you know, I was just really fascinated about computers because, of course, first of all, I had pretty much nothing to do when I was five years old. Of course, uh, like what can a five-year-old really do for fun? I uh, mean, play uh, with, I guess, toys. But you know, my dad worked as a computer programmer, uh, and so you know. He, since he would code lots of uh, like pretty much all the time, I would always sort of watch what he was doing, and it sort of intrigued me as to like how a computer could display something on the screen, like "Hello World" or even my name. Uh, and so, you know, at five years old, I thought that was like magic, I guess. Uh, and so, you know, I really was intrigued, and I wanted to know how it was uh, how it was able to do this. So I wanted to get into the depth of it. Uh, and so, you know, my dad showed me a really simple "Hello World" application. Uh, then, you know, I was again really interested by it. Uh, then we slowly got more advanced. In advance, some variables, etc., etc. Uh, then you know what? After that, I just started using the internet as a learning resource. Learned uh, more languages like C and VB. Uh, then, I mean, when I was nine years old, I had a Mac and I had my first iOS app on the App Store, T Tables, which helps you learn your multiplication tables. Why did you do that? Uh, well, you know, in grade three, actually, um, I had some sort of tests coming up, and I wasn't the greatest at multiplication tables, but I was good at programming. Uh, and so, you know. I basically had the idea uh, of why not just like you know create a little Windows app uh, just for myself that'll help me practice my times tables. I did that and I got a pretty good uh, score on that test. However, what happened uh, you know in grade four, uh, I got the idea why not create it into an iOS app so other people around the world can use it as well. And so I made it into an iOS app. And after around three rejections from Apple, it was accepted into the iOS App Store on February 14th, 2013. Wow. So, did rejections hurt? Uh, not really. I mean, they were because of some. You know, Apple has really strict guidelines, so they were for some really odd reason. I mean, sometimes a font size wasn't uh, very big enough for something, or maybe it wasn't taking up the whole screen, uh, the whole space on the screen, something like that. Uh, they were really simple uh, fixes, and then yeah, it was eventually accepted. Said I use the internet as a learning resource, and so I'm really easily able to learn languages. Like, uh, for example, once you learn one language or maybe even two languages, you sort of know the basics, like loops, conditionals, variables. And so once you know those sorts of really basics, it's really easy to move to another language because you just need to find out that sort of basic syntax, and then the rest you can build off of. I do agree. I do specialize, I guess you could say, in sort of like Swift and Java and Python and in some some sort of Objective C. But then again, it's since I know those languages, I know here's a class. This is what a class is. This is what a function is. Variable, a loop, an if statement. Once I know those sorts of really basics, it's really easy for me to switch to something, let's say C, C plus plus. It's really easy for me to learn those because I just need to say, how do I define a class? How do I define a function? How do I use for loop? How do I use an if statement? How do I create variables? Okay. Once I know those sorts of basics. I can really build off of there, and then as I create applications, I can learn the language as well. Sure. Are there things you look up to? I mean, in your world? Um, well, I mean, uh, are you talking sort of like people or yeah, people, or also anything that inspires um, you? I mean, uh, first of all, I'd like to say I guess I admire Steve Jobs. Uh, I mean, it, the reason I really admired him was because you know this passion and dedication he had towards his work, and just sort of his uh, sort of mood of just never giving up and believing in himself. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about art artificial intelligence? When did you first hear about oh, it? Yeah. Was it like a jargon when you first heard uh, it? Not really. 
actually, because uh, actually I have no idea what I was watching on YouTube, but I just happened to stumble upon a documentary about IBM Watson a few months ago. Uh, and so, you know, I was just really intrigued as to how Watson was able to answer a question in jeopardy against human players, and so how it was able to win as well. And so, you know, I was just really fascinated and I wanted to sort of create a prototype or create my own sort of question answering system, a mini question answering system. I did lots of research and after 20 to 25 prototypes, I pretty much gave up. How, how do you balance everything else? And how often do you code? When was the last time you, you coded? Uh, well, actually anything? it was this morning. Um, nice. Yeah, you know, you I do? usually like to spend around 40% of my day coding because it's just that fun because of course when I was five years old and when I was introduced to coding I had absolutely no idea people did that as a job it was just pretty much another toy for me a computer was a toy for me and that was just really fun to like code and like see the output eventual output like all the sort of problems or the issues I faced during the coding the output was worth the sort of weight and the sort of hard work towards that uh, and so you know I always find that sort of balance because it's basically what I like to do in my break time, essentially. And also, I mean, I'm homeschooled, and so I can really mix it in with uh, sort of what I'm doing. Of course, I do the regular subjects, social studies, math, science, language, uh, but then again, I can actually mix in my computer programming. For example, math. Let's say years ago I did some sort of, sort of uh, LCM and GCF calculator. So if I'm doing LCM and GCF in my, let's say, math homework, I can, once I'm done my homework, even create an application to sort of calculate the LCM and GCF of two numbers and stuff like that. And so, you know, that's how I can tie in my computer programming with what I'm actually doing. Do you spend too much of time uh, tutoring people on uh, YouTube? Yes, that brings me to my next point, actually. Uh, I do love to share my knowledge, actually. Uh, and I have a YouTube channel uh, that actually just hit 1,300 subscribers. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, and so basically, you know, I like to teach stuff like uh, programming, algorithms, Watson, math, and science. Uh, and so, you know, I like to create videos to share my knowledge. Basically, whatever I learn, I like to simplify it and let other people learn that as well. And so, you know, that's really fun. In fact, I'm actually currently writing a book called Hello Swift iOS App Programming for Kids and Other Beginners. Uh, yeah, and so basically it's going to be, as the subtitle suggests, a book for kids and other beginners to learn iOS app development through Swift from scratch. Yeah, in fact, actually one of my uh, one of the things on my wish list, I guess you could call it, uh, is to get my book signed by Amitabh Bachchan. <laughs> <laughs> What's the connection? What do you really like? Why do you want to meet him? I don't know. I'm just a big fan of him, I guess. You are? Yeah. What do you remember the most? Uh, specifically, actually, the KBC game show. In fact, another wish, I guess you could call it, is uh, for Aston, you know how Watson was able to play Jeopardy with Alex Trebek, maybe uh, Ask Tanmay could play KBC with him with how much. And... Did you try meeting him on this trip? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> okay. Uh, Did you, do you also watch movies? Uh, slightly, not really, <laughs> though, yeah. <laughs>